Welcome to Going the Distant. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Hope the next few minutes are helpful. Last summer, we brought home a caterpillar from Pennsylvania. We named him Big Ben after the Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback because of his yellow and black colors. We put him in this glass jar along with some milkweed. That's the only thing that caterpillars eat. And from there, Big Ben entered into a routine of eating, urinating, and defecating for 10 straight days. <laughs> now, that's a pretty mundane existence, if you ask me. It reminds me, though, of what some marriages may become. Not exactly what we dream for, for our marriages. We may even start thinking, is this all there is? Well, after those first 10 days, Big Ben entered the chrysalis stage by wrapping himself in a green covering. And for about 12 days, nothing seemed to be happening, and we did check daily. Toward the end, the covering became more transparent. It was a Saturday morning. I happened to get up early around 5 a.m., and I took a picture of Big Ben. At 6 a.m., I came back and I took another picture. What a dramatic transformation. Big Ben was now a beautiful monarch butterfly. So what does this have to do with marriage? Marriage doesn't have to be mundane. Marriages can have monarch moments. We've actually seen hundreds of marriages awaken to new vibrancy. And here in the Miami Valley of Ohio, near Springfield, we have a variety of classes and programs that put you in a chrysalis. It may not seem like much is happening, but if you're patient, you'll see the monarch. Regardless of where you live, check out resources in your community that help to refresh and inspire marriages. Here in Central Ohio, check out and register for our classes at mrcmv.org. All classes are currently free, about eight hours in length and faith neutral, while harmonizing with the many faith traditions that value marriage health. So come on, let's do this. Let's go the distance together.